game is as old as me. It's a DOS game from 1987. Uh, I think it was actually originally for what, Apple II, is that right? This is an anti-piracy thing, but I think this version of the game is that it removed. You just spam whatever button you want. Um, and it's a puzzle game, totally made by one guy. Actually, pretty impressive history. Read the Wikipedia article about it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and suspend the usual rules on spoilers and backseating for this game. I think it's kind of fun to work together to solve the puzzles. Um, basically, though, the way that this game works is you have all these different tarot cards that you're looking into, and each one of them has a puzzle that you have to solve. And as you solve the puzzles, it unlocks other puzzles for you to get to later. A puzzle or a mini game or something like that. And there's bits of story in between them, so I'm just going to go to the ones we believe we haven't done yet. Uh, wandering away, the fool returned to the task of inspecting the sun's parchment, but sadly he could not make any sense out of it. Further along, he met a page. He stood in the middle of the road, admiring his polished wooden walking stick. That is indeed a fine staff, the fool complimented, and I am lost and desire your assistance. Do you know how to read a map? Fear not, answered the page, not taking his eyes off the walking stick. I am lost and I seek the pyramids. The pyramids are to the south. The middle one is inscribed the letter E. So it is. It's not helped the fool at all. I think some of these are ones I've already done. I'm trying to remember what I have to do to actually trigger the quest here. Okay, you click on the little icon. Did this one already. To the east. About Knight of Wands. Did that one already. Did that one already. We do the wand. I see plenty of an immense wooden staff mounted upon a stone pedestal engraved with the letter S. Aha, the fool shouted. The royal wand has been returned. You're mistaken, little one, the statue replied solemnly. Here I've stood for many generations. I'm the symbol of his lordship, the king. Oh my, the fool stammered. Follow the path once again. This must mean that the royal wand is even larger yet. You cannot imagine such a thing. So how do I trigger the actual missions here if I want to do the actual stage? There's a way to do it, I just don't know how. Maybe you don't automatically get the quest to open up here? Or is it based on the ones that still have an icon next to them, and the ones that don't I've already done? Be it too. Try the fighting boys. Select all the buttons in the correct order to reveal two words. Icon means I need to do it. Probably something that's like a new something, right? The rules here is like based on the order in which you select them, there's a rule. So like pressing 2 puts an N on the left. Let me see if it always does that though. Yeah. Pressing 2 puts an N on the far left. One of them like reverses the order of the text here. One reverses order of text. Oh, new, new. I got it accidentally. But basically, each button added a letter according to some rule or changed the order of the letters. New, the new. Near a stone wall was a burly fellow who guarded nine tall fighting staffs. Could you tell me if this is the correct way to the Queen's Palace? inquired the fool. New Gnu is the pert reply. Beg your pardon? New Gnu, you repeated. An old Gnu is not new, and only a new Gnu is true. The fool nodded agreeably and quickly moved on. Stone wall. To solve this puzzle, use the clues shown in the picture to find the correct letters and then enter those letters into the blank boxes. Use the mouse or cursor keys to select the boxes and move between them. So I can type a letter here. And it's probably that there's only so many possible words here, right? So it could be like sun. Can I read this story again? No, it was not. Bad yam. No, it's not the same one. Huh? 
Oh, it's a new word entirely. So what words are possible here for the first one? Is It doesn't look like it's ever possible for the second letter to be... Is that an I or a P? I guess if that's an I, that changes things. I thought that was... No, this is an I. So I think that's a P. But it has to either be an O or an A, right? So it could be Sot, Sun, Rot, probably not Ron, Jot, probably not John. Oh, you think it's Red Rat? Oh. I see the rat, though, and the red flag. Red isn't legal for the first word, unfortunately. I think it says it's done once we get the right thing. It could. The first one's probably rat, though. Rat. And then this one has to be another thing that we see, right? That's three letters long. So, rat bug. Yeah. Bum. This one, the second letter has to be U, right? Big. I think that it's saying it has to be one of these letters here, right? Rat by. Hmm. This is almost certainly a rat. Yeah. Oh, good call, Rat Ivy. Top of Watchtower, a lone sentry gazed longingly at the creeping vines that ran up the walls of a nearby granite castle. I wouldn't even have considered V as a valid letter there. Excuse me, the fool shouted as politely as he could. I was at the castle of the Queen. The Queen, he groaned? Rat Ivy. Rat Ivy? Yes, indeed. If rats were Ivy, then they wouldn't steal into the royal kitchen. And if they didn't steal into the royal kitchen, then they wouldn't eat the royal cheese. If they didn't eat the royal cheese, then I wouldn't have to set the royal rat traps day in and day out. But alas, only little lambs eat ivy. I see the fool mumbled, walking over to the palace. A very strange kingdom this is. Okay, so there's not a quest for me to do for that one yet. I think you unlock the quest by doing other missions, and it's not in, like, order. Hangman. Shrugging his shoulders, he crossed the bridge and discovered a man hanging upside down from a tree by one foot. Does that not hurt? The fool wondered. I am a hanged man, said the hanging man. That is most obvious, the fool retorted. What is obvious to some is not obvious to all. Consider that the top is at the bottom of the upper half. The fool was weary of such confusing talk and did not wish to consider this at all. Okay, so this is one of these... Probably is like a word somewhere? There should be another obvious red bottom of that letter K. Unless we're not meant to use those as part of the drawing here, right? No, I think we want this one. Uh, that seemed more accurate. Okay. So it goes in the top right corner. No. The ones you're also fine to help with if you have an idea of where you think something should go. It's got to have that dark black on it, right? It's not that one. Not that one. Sometimes it'd be hard on these ones to figure out where the edge is. Let's try to do the castle. That seems more correct than what I was trying earlier.
Oops, there's yellow. None of these go together. Try moving everything castle related over one step here. I feel like the castle has to be on an edge somewhere though. Because it's not a complete picture. That can't be right. That's not right. That's not right. That seems questionable, then maybe that's right. I feel like I'm lacking a black space if in fact the castle takes up that much room, you know? Unless if the castle starts on the far left end. Yeah, that makes a little bit more sense. That also makes more sense, although this one doesn't. That seems more likely. It also seems slightly more likely. Need to find a way to get this like gap here to make sense. Oh. That doesn't look right. Maybe it's like the end of the ocean from here. Oh, I bet that's the end of the castle. Okay. can possibly be it. I don't know what goes right into the castle. I think that's going to be the hard one. That's not right. That's also not right. You see one and you have a thought, feel free to speak up. I think I'm pretty close on this side though. So I can get the rest of the water here. The horsemen in the castle are not near each other. Oh. Do we do we think that the castle is all the way on the northwestern corner? Because since it cuts off, I assume it would have to be. Maybe it's at the bottom instead. But I guess you have the edge of the map kind of lines up in color, right? Shoreline. That one can't be right. That can't be right. Well, let's get the ones where. Let's get the colors of the edge of the screen to match up before we start moving stuff around. We know there should be some blue along the edge here. guy's hand. On the left edge. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Yeah. Huh. Unless if I'm just, that's not, that might not be the right square for that, right? Could have been the problem there. Something else should go there that's not a hand. Black goes under the reflective K. Oh, yeah, good call. Means this guy goes here ish. Okay, so that all looks right, and that's matching up with the background as well. This should swap with something, though. Let's see. Do we have anything that connects up with this tree? That looks more correct, right? I guess there's some 
orphan grave stuff there, but looks slightly better. That also looks a little bit better. But that doesn't make sense. Hmm. Let's try to get the bottom of the screen as correct as we can here. I think it's more light green in the bottom corner, maybe. Yeah, I think that's right. So there's some mixed gray in the bottom. Should be right. I don't know what goes up here. Maybe this guy? That's the only one that makes sense on that square, I think tree I'm having trouble with making sense though. He can't go that much further though, can he? Like there maybe? I think you're right. Yeah, good call. That yeah, one step over, that was a good call. Here. It's just a matter of getting their shadows right now. Nice. GG. I like that even these little puzzles, they give you a lot of clues on the individual squares about where they must go. Like having the edge be open with a color. You came to the shores of another great ocean and met a page who held an engraved copper cup. Just as the fool was about to say hello, a tiny green fish jumped out of the cup and fell to the ground, moving its way back to the sea. Help me, the page screamed. My KD is getting away. <laughs> KDR. The fool removed his pointed hat and, after a few tries, captured the slippery fish with it. Here's your fish, you offer, but I did not see your KD. We are one and the same. Seek she who holds two swords. Wow. Huh. So I'll rearrange the bundle jumbled letters. There's very few words that would use all of these. Seek stronger souls. <laughs> This game is really cool, and I don't think I ever would have known anything about it if it wasn't for, uh, Nodovan. It's not Preach, because we don't have an A. Could start with PH. It doesn't work. Oh, Perch. Good call. Trout. I see, they're all fish. These are fun. Uh, <laughs> minnow. It's like you know the category and suddenly it gets a lot easier. And they were talking all about fish, so I should have done that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sardine. Vodka with a sardine in it. Fish that has a GH in it. I assume the GH go together. Dogfish. Ah, they're tricking me with that GH. Not dogfish. It is something fish, though, right? Unless if they're being deliberately tricky. Oh, goldfish. <laughs> of course. Naturally. Halibut? I really don't know fish very well. Goatee, yeah, goatee hook. Fish. No ship. Further along the shore, a knight atop his gray horse stared off into the still waters. The ocean is calm, yet no ship approaches, yet agreed. 
That is good, is it not? asked the fool, walking closer. No, the warrior replied. The wands had promised to return our most treasured possession and have not done so. The queen must be told and will wait here until sunset no longer. Yeah, it's pronounced fish. Because the GH is like the GH in enough. The O is like. Oh, what's a word that has an O in it that's pronounced like an I? T is like in T I O N. Like elation. Oh, I love these puzzles. These are the best. So that's death knell. So let's just go ahead and change all those. G is D. P is E. And it's such a convenient way to set you up to do them as well. A. V is T. I is H. Okay. F is N. E is E. J is L. Okay. So this probably has landed. This has to be no something has landed. That says, alas. I as I do should be night. As I do, he sighed. No ship has landed. Pawn. This is your night says. Alas, I do, he sighed. Your knight says that no ship has landed upon your shore. <laughs> Sorry, I've been there before. Across the wooden bridge, spanning a dark moat, quietly entered the castle of solemn beauty. And there he found the queen sitting beside the shimmering waters of a majestic fountain. Doing word of our treasure, she asked eagerly. Alas, I do, he sighed. Your knight says that no ship has landed upon your shore. So they break their agreement, the queen hissed through clenched teeth. What can be expected from such faithless ones? I fear that a holy war is the only way to scourge this evil from the land, and those who do not believe in the words of truth shall live to rue the consequences. Please, I must have some time alone. My heart is not yet hardened. The grim task lies ahead. Take the magic word, enal. Why enal? I'll tell you why enal. For your troubles and go in peace. So that we've done one of these, like, before, right? To solve this puzzle, rearrange the letters to create three words that read horizontally and three words that read vertically. The center letter is already correct. To switch two letters, select the first letter or the second letter. Okay. So I was really bad at this one before. We have to spell three legit level words, so if you have ideas for this one, feel free to speak up. Unfortunately, Ted is not a word. Oil is going to be one of them, right? So we can try oil in every location and see what we get out of it now. Wed. It's bad here. These ones are hard. Oil. Uh, you don't want it to be an O-I unless if it's oil, right? So maybe the O doesn't need to be showing up here twice. There's no other word that O-I is a valid word, right? I don't think there's any other words other than oil that are valid. Oin is the name of a dwarf. <laughs> so as much as I want there to be two O's in the middle, I don't think there can be. You have to do, you have to do diagonals too, right? Horizontally and vertically. Yeah, these guys are pretty hard. We do do dot oil. But is there... Can the O be anywhere else? Oil and Owl. Yeah. 
Can we get oil in a place where we can still get owl, though? Old. Wow, yeah, I totally forgot about old. Good call. But I can't get oil then, but maybe I don't need it. Because we don't do diagonal, it's just uh, this way and this way. But you're right, I forgot about oil being, or old being valid. Oil, old. Hey, there it is. Tow, win, old, two, oil, end. I kind of got lucky on that last one. Oot is totally a word. <laughs> the fool departed from the royal palace and came to another fountain at the edge of the kingdom. It was an immense ivory chalice. Good call, catching old, Dieter. I stare at those forever and forget that three-letter words exist. <laughs> it should be obvious. Uh, engraved with the letter T, and from it issued four glittering streams of water. I will not be fooled a third time, declared the fool. <laughs> This is the symbol of his lordship and nothing more. Hierophant. Keeping to the path, the fool located a hidden fortress and then went on to make Star Wars, A New Hope. Perched precariously atop a lonely crag, it was here that he encountered the Hierophant. I know of your quest, spoke the priest. Four others have come before you, but I seek no harm to anyone, the fool assured him. Ah, but harm has already been done. <laughs> Four kingdoms are on the verge of another war. The countryside is ravaged by famine. And even as I speak, the specter of death roams the land. You cannot imagine how he had been the cause of such things. Nonetheless, the priest continues, I am compelled to help you in this matter. A little good it may do you. Take this and be gone. With a flash of lightning, the fool appeared back on the mountain trail, etched into the rock at his feet with the numbers 15 and 24 and 2. It's too cool, man. Oops. Yeah, right? I don't think I had seen them in other games. It's definitely giving me an intuition for them that I wouldn't have gotten otherwise. The puzzle is jumbled to solve it. Rearrange all the jumbled letters into their correct positions. Select a letter, then select a second letter. Two letters will swap positions. Okay. Don't know if the numbers they gave us are relevant here. They might come up later in the game. So the problem is the middle letter could be from either, so you can't just try to let your brain unscramble it for you. I guess you could try each letter in there and see if that gives it away. Oh, and then you could move it. So it's not just the letter sub. One's probably forever, right? Or is that too short? Oh, there's no V. An ogre battle as well. Inte. Inte. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that can't be the word there. So what other five little words are viable from this? Hour? No, there's no S. I can freely switch letters, yeah. It's gonna spell two words at the end. It'd be a lot easier if I couldn't freely switch letters. Uh, 14, good call. Three, 14. Oh, and now we have the, the main clue, right? Gotcha. 12. Cool. <laughs> I love these ones. And the first one, 14, you'd probably come up on 19. I guess they gave us the clue in the story, right? With the numbers. 
five. Good call, Spikey. Oops. Seventeen. Six. It's the only one. Thirteen. Cool. Fought tarot cards is an edgy thing to make people uncomfortable. Walking across a grassy knoll, he discovered a young man sitting under a spreading oak tree. Mm -hmm. Before him were three fine goblets, and emerging from a small cloud, a pale hand offered him a fourth. Why do you refuse such gifts? The fool had to ask. Why should it be satisfied with less than I am seeking? You look like one who is seeking anything. But you are wrong. I suit the sacred six and thirteen. This cloud offers me trifles instead, so here I will sit until it gives me what I desire. It's like the end of an E. There's a T. Is it 15, 24, 2? For the first three letters it gave us forever ago. Top of the O. 2, 15. Okay, so now we just have to figure out where all these guys actually go. It looks like there is black along the bottom. It's 15 and 22, right? Anyone see any things that have a tiny bit of gray on the corner? Finish the O. I think some that are on the bottom, right? That one, 20 maybe? Yeah, okay. So this all goes down here for sure. Though I'm not sure. No. Hmm. Okay, that looks right. It goes in that corner though, this one. Perfect. Okay. Don't know where 15 goes though. Maybe in the top corner. Alright, so there should be some dark stuff connecting to this now. Looks right. Looks right. Oops. That looks right. Should be the bottom of a tree. Okay. The fool guy. Is there a tippy top to this T somewhere? And a tippy top to the, I guess, the bottom of the Een somewhere. That might have been it right there. Okay. That looks right as well. All the dark black sections on the bottom here that we can. See one that just has black in the bottom left corner. That one. I like how they can use lighting in these puzzles is a pretty significant. That's right. Okay. Is that right? Might be. Hmm, it's not right. That's more right. 
Hey, look at that. First try. I know, I had a church that I went to when I was young that decided that uh, Disney worshipped Satan because Mickey Mouse put out a gangster rap album. Wasn't even really gangster rap, he just rapped. Uh, continuing on his way... What's this? The fool came to a barren field pitted with jagged rocks. I can see them, a man shouted, spinning about in a daze. They're just out of my reach. I did not see anything, the fool remarked. You must, the man pleaded. I see seven cups of treasure in a vile black cloud. See something else, the numbers 15 and 2 and 20. Which is what we just did. There are clouds in the sky, the fool observed, but no number of cups. They're gone, he cried. It's your fault. You have no faith. You are blind like the rest. The man ran off, laughing maniacally. Place all the pieces together so that they fit inside the rectangle. Once the piece is already in its correct position, it cannot be removed. The completed puzzle will reveal three words. Oh, geez. This one seems pretty hard. <laughs> so if you're looking at this and you have an idea for places a piece absolutely has to go, um, because otherwise it would create a gap. That's kind of what I'm looking for right now. These are not all Tetris pieces. So this can't possibly be legal. I can try fitting stuff into the one that we know is correct that has the three E's in it. And it probably has to do with making the letters connect too. Oh, is Talus principle like this? Clearly. Okay. This is a clever puzzle right here. Ah, oh, there's a part of it like this. It's cool. It's gonna have to end up going somewhere else. Cool, see ya. It's probably numbers again, right? Oh, shoot, that's so close to being right. Okay, hold on. This would be a, a different team. It'd be 15 instead. Uh, but that's our only other F, right? Is there a T that goes on the bottom? Ha ha ha! Alright. Although, the fact there's this is an orphan E is worrisome to me. Yeah, that looks pretty right, though. Oh, eight! Duh. Orphan E. Wow. This looks really hard when I first came in here, and once you know that you need to use numbers, it's not so bad. What a cool puzzle. Right, there's no way it couldn't be an orphan D. Yeah, that's really cool. Big fan. Beyond the field stood a woman in a long black cloak. Behind her two chalices filled uh, behind her were two chalices filled with a bubbling liquid, and before her were three others, their contents spilled on the ground. You have knocked over three of your cups, the fool felt obliged to mention. Quiet, the woman snapped, you will disturb the enchantment. The fool watched as the bubbling liquid seeped into the cold earth. To his dismay, a cloud of bluish green smoke curled upward and formed the numbers fourteen and eight and fifteen. Not wishing to see what might happen next, the fool departed in a hurry. So many magic numbers between 1 in 100. <laughs> or even like 1 in 10,000. Enchantment. These puzzles. Okay, so we gotta figure out what all these things do. I think 1 adds EE to the right. Probably spelling a number again. That seems to be the theme with this segment. Two might add T to the right. Uh, 
that added S. Hold on, let me try that again. As an SI on the left and an N on the right, is that what happened? Yeah. Three SI left. N to the right. How about four? Just added an X to the left, right? Okay. Five. Oh god. I need to see that with less shit on the screen. Five just added an X to the left, or did it do something else too? Oh, it's XT on the left, right? Left. Six reverses the order, so that's where we're going to get the XT needs to go backwards, probably. Reverses order of entire thing. And then seven puts dashes. Does it also change the order or something? Oh, weird. I know it's possible for there to be a lot of dashes. Dude, I don't know what the pattern is on that. So six, seven. Can't get one. Six, seven, six. There's not a 16, because there's not a T, is there? Or is there something that deletes the T? Hmm. Interesting. I don't really understand what 7 does. Let me um, try it in a couple different patterns here and see if I can piece it together. So, neatin... Tis X, TX becomes what when I hit seven? Me. Wow. Dude, I have no idea. <laughs> It definitely adds a lot of hyphens to it, but I don't see the pattern and how it does that. And when it adds the hyphens, it deletes some letters by some strange algorithm. Hmm. TN becomes dash SIN. XTTN becomes XSISIN. If you're in chat, do you have an idea of what the number 7 does? I haven't figured out what the pattern is yet. I've already hit that one. Hold on. SITNN becomes si dash sin -N. it looks like it always removes t's so if we assume the only teen we need is for 16 there are seven cups on the screen which is probably telling us something we almost definitely need the word 16 in here though We need to get letters in between the T and N. This one's going to be basically impossible to brute force to, unlike the last one we got lucky. Alright, let me think here. T's. X to the left. Yeah, I'll take a hint. Uh, food effects. Just I'm not understanding where seven does.
Yeah, if you wanted to tell me what seven does, that works. Dash as high? Yeah, right. No problem. Oh, all it does is replaces T with SI. Oh, so it does. It's not as bad as I thought it was. Okay. I guess I've never done it without a T in there because you start with a T. That's cool. Okay. So we want. Let's see. ones that add T's are number two adds T-E-E -E on the right side and number five adds X-T on the left so I need to figure out based on what seven does how many total T's we want to have in this when everything is said and done I think we only want one let me try pressing everything except seven here There's no eight, so it's not like it's sixteenth. There are enough letters for us to get teen twice. But I don't think we want teen twice. Do we? We can maybe get it to say 16, 16. Hmm. Just being a teen one's just stressful enough, I know, right? Three puts SI to the left. Six sixteen, maybe. Try that. So that's X on the left, three We don't want to have all those ends though, as part of what's causing my problem here. Try X on the left. So we could also do XT on the left, which we might want actually. Let's try that real quick here. There's only two things we can do that add things on the left side. Mm, no, that can't be right. This is T with SI. We can't ever put something in the middle. We can reverse the order of the whole thing. Alright, so I think we need to figure out when that reversal occurs. Just out of curiosity, if I reverse immediately and do this. Ah, okay. Right, because then this will be teen. It could be, it's probably 16-6, right? Okay. So, let's think about this. I'm going to reverse it. I think we want the X here first. Reverse. Okay, this is feeling better. We're not quite there, but we're getting there. Um, I need to have another N on this side, though, is the problem now. Two... 
16. Oh, I can get an end over here. Oh, we're, we're super close. Okay. So it's X on the left. Reverse. Place. Uh, T on the right. Wait, I did that wrong. Hold on. X on the left, reverse, place, T on the right, sin 16, no, we don't want that, 5 does that, and 6 does that, 16, 16 maybe? Maybe it's not 16, 16? So I think that's the correct first play. What else do I want to do when I reverse it, I guess? The brute force from here. Let's just see what the next step looks like. If you have an idea in chat, feel free to share. We don't need to spend the whole rest of the session on this puzzle. Um, I've gotten my fun out of it. Let's see, what are orders we know are wrong? This feels... Haha! -ha! Cool. That was a cool puzzle. Uh, heading up a steep mountain path, he discovered eight silver goblets abandoned on a rock ledge. Yeah, I figured that reversing was the one that we had to start with, right? Reversing and then replacing. What an easy win! Okay. Looking about, he spotted a man in a scarlet robe scaling a distant peak. You have forgotten your cups, the fool cried out. No, I chose to leave them behind. Grown weary of this kingdom, blind faith is no replacement for true knowledge. I have the mystical sixteen and sixteen, that is all I desire. Leaving the eight cups where they were, the fool hiked onward. So it sounds like everything under three is like numbers based. These all seem to have themes, what the mini games are like. Shadow of Night had cloaked the land, and the fool could not tell from which direction he had come or to which direction he should go. If only this map made any sense, he moaned, moving the wrinkled parchment from his knapsack and staring at it. The sun is a trickster, echoed a voice from above. It was he who gave me the map, replied the fool. It was to be my guide to the fourteen treasures of the world. Is that what it will? So it will be, but not in the way that you think. The map shows you only of the places you have visited and never of the places you have not. Okay. That's telling us how this whole sun thing works. I think it's the last puzzle. Follow the path to the west. Much to accomplish. Select the correct buttons to reveal three secret letters. Oh, that's weird. Hmm. Can't spell moon. Am I spelling a word on the bottom just to help me to understand this puzzle? I'm not entirely sure I get it. I'm not spelling a word. I'm eventually revealing three letters. Some of these like add and subtract. They all add symbols to the screen. Do they ever subtract? Okay, so sometimes they're subtractive, right? And it's probably going to be in the negative space that we're going to have mostly black on the screen. 
Okay, so let's try turning them all on and then going backwards from here. I'm guessing the, the letters are going to end up being in purple. Oh, it's toggles. If it's already black, it turns pink. Let's see. Yes, are the uh, their final resulting letters going to be in black or in purple? So the letters will be black and purple will be the background in the end. Aha, okay. All right, we're getting there. So that gets us our A. is an E though? It might not be. Maybe it combos with something else. So this can't can't possibly be you. Could be true. Let's keep it on there for now. Seems unlikely, but I can try comboing with other stuff here. the letter on the far right side. I probably won't solve it in the next two minutes. We can pick up from this one next time. The A is correct there, right? I don't want I don't think I want the next letter to go into this zone over here at all, like it's just going to be those letters once it's done. It might be an S then there. certain structures you don't want in this, I feel like. Is it AI? Like air, maybe? I could read the puzzle again. Aha! Totally earned it. Soon the fool came to a small craft shop, and inside he found a young man working on eight copper dinner plates, each inscribed with the design of a five-pointed star. A-I-H, the fool read aloud for one of the plates. What does that mean? The craftsman spoke without looking up. Althea Isabel Heatherstone, he snapped, and she wants these plates monogrammed by sundown. I'll trouble me no further. I have much to accomplish. Perfect timing. Two, save two, FTFE. Perfect. 
sure that that actually loads so we can play this again next time if Nodovan chooses to keep it on sublock, which looks like it works. Cool. Thank you, Nodovan, and for everyone for joining and playing that. This game's really fun. Uh, we'll be back soon with Republic. See you guys shortly.